Because home is sacred, we're gonna organize. Because home is sacred, we're gonna organize. Because home is sacred, we're gonna organize. Indigenous brothers and sisters out there, the, the indigenous from the Canada all the way down to South America. This is all um, North America, Turtle Island. You're on native land. I'm on native land. These are not my lands around. My name is Joey Williams. I'm a member of the Kern Valley Indian community, the Nua people. That's what our elders call us. Academics call us Kauaizu. And I am on native land. I am on the lands of the Nisanan and the Miwok people who are not a thing of the past, but of the present, and surely, the future. First of all, we believe that poverty doesn't have to be a given in a state with this much abundance. Our vision is that in 10 years, California will have created a moral economy where each of us can thrive and not simply survive. With so many young Californians struggling with housing and the million plus Californians who are on the brink of losing their homes, the mandate is clear and the momentum across our communities, our collective communities is real. El problema es real. Over the last five years, our communities and communities of all faith have organized to pass tenant protections across the state. Nuestras organizaciones y nuestras gentes han organizado para proteger a las, nuestras familias en, a, a través de todo California. It is crucial that our legislators who sit on the Judiciary Committee stand with working families, communities, immigrants, and young people to ensure that our communities are protected through the Homelessness Prevention Act and Senate Bill 567. From Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders for civic empowerment to power California action, we are organized and we are ready. And from PICO, faith communities across California to the larger Million Voters Project Coalition, we make up, we are organized and we are ready. Together with our collective power, we will win. When I say housing, you say justice. Housing. 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 Thank you.
United Tribes ancestral homeland of Northwestern California. When I have been away from home for a time, and when I am traveling and going back upriver, I know that I am beginning to feel home when I cross the bridge that spans the Trinity and Klamath Rivers, and I am going closer to the Salmon River, and I look up at the trees and the mountain tops high above the water, and I imagine the mountain ridge tops as a shawl, and I pull it and wrap my arms, neck, and back in my mountain shawl, and then I know I am home. Home is sacred. Repítense, por favor. El lugar es sagrado. El pueblo es sagrado. People are sacred. Folks, I'm going to give a quick summary. Voy a hacer un resumen breve sobre lo que acabamos de escuchar about what we just heard. Number one, folks, um, I heard that there's been a lot of great meetings today. Habían muchas reuniones muy fructíferas. Esta, este, este día, esta mañana y esta tarde, ¿verdad? I also was reminded that we are in a fight. También me acordaba que estamos en una lucha. Porque cuando escuchábamos que ustedes se juntaban con, vamos a decir en el caso de ICUC, ocho legisladores y consiguieron uno sí, eso significa que hay siete que dijeron que no, o que tal vez sí, tal vez no, que no están seguros. I was reminded that we're in a fight in the case of, for example, ICUC, who met with eight legislators, which is very wonderful and exciting. They got one yes, which is great, but that means that they got seven no's or maybes. And why are people in the legislature unsure? ¿Por qué están nuestros legisladores inseguros De, de, de si van a votar sí o no para esta legislación. Why are they unsure? Does anybody know? They haven't read the bill, no han leído la legislación, quizás. Why else? There's powerful opposition. Los que están en contra son muy, muy poderosos. Listen, everybody, the real estate industry is big business in this state. Landlords have a lot of power, especially landlords with a lot of money. Los propietarios en este estado tienen mucho dinero y mucho poder. Es un negocio para ellos. Y ellos están impulsando a estos mismos legisladores y sus trabajadores para votar no, para votar en contra de esta legislación, ¿verdad? They are pressuring these legislators every day to vote against this legislation, which is why our work today and in the future is so important. That was something else I heard, that power is in the relationship. Everybody say that with me. El poder está en la relación. El poder está en la relación. Power is in the relationship. We heard that today. We heard that because of your relationships with legislators in the past and the relationships you're building today are opening doors to continue meeting with legislators and their staff back at home. So ustedes abrieron puertas de oportunidad hoy para seguir reuniéndose con estos legisladores cuando vuelven a sus casas. We heard great ideas from True North. They're going to ask their senator to pressure Senator Umberg, who is the chair of the Judiciary Committee, los de True North pidieron de su senador para impulsar al senador Umber para votar a favor de SB 567. We also heard Faith in Action Barry is showing up at Senator Weiner's office on Monday. ¿Verdad? What did I say that in English or Spanish? <laughs> los de Fe en Acción del Área Bahía van a ir a la oficina del senador Weiner el lunes, ¿verdad? So van a seguir Manteniendo la presión. Today is just the beginning. Hoy es el comienzo. Relationships are not built in a day. Las relaciones no construimos en solo un día, ¿verdad? Se requiere que nosotros sigamos en este, este diálogo, en esta relación con los asambleístas, con los senadores, con los alcaldes 
de nuestras ciudades con los supervisores de las mesas de nuestros condados. We have to continue building relationships, not just with senators and assembly members, but also with our mayors, with our members of our boards of supervisors. I want to invite you for a few minutes to turn to your neighbor. Les quiero invitar a hablar con su prójimo, su prójima, su vecino sentado a su lado. What ideas you have, maybe what's one, maybe two ideas you have as you go back home from here to continue building and deepening your relationships with your representatives, okay? So what's one or two ideas you have for how you continue to build relationships with the people who you are trying to deliver? Yes, on 567, yes on SB4, and yes on our Home is Sacred platform. Again, oh again, oh again. One of the things I heard being talked about we're going back home and inviting our legislators to actions, to public actions. Imagine this summer, if we had 50 actions across the Pico California network, with each legislator, a bunch of our mayors, a bunch of our county supervisors, and we got them to either tell us yes or no to SB 567, and we said no more maybes. No more wishy-washiness. We got too many maybes today, right? We need our legislators to look us in the eye in public and tell us, are you going to stand with us or are you gonna stand with them? Yes or no on 567. How many of you by show of hands are ready to move in action this summer? ¿Cuántos de ustedes levantando las manos van a mover una acción pública este verano? What does the, the key represent? El hogar. El hogar. También representa el poder que estamos abriendo, ¿verdad? It also represents the power that we are unlocking together. I want to invite you, if you would, take out your key because you're going to give it away. Toma su llave porque ustedes van a regalar esta llave en un momentito, okay? I want to invite you to stand, so pongan en pie, if you would, take out your key, and turn to a neighbor. Les quiero invitar a voltearse a su vecino, a su vecina, okay? And I'm going to ask you to put this key on your neighbor and offer them a blind. Showing up right Give them a holy handshake or a holy high five, a hug if you're comfortable with that. Dale un abrazo, un high five. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, so y'all know the tune. Now we're gonna flip the words. And instead of, I'm gonna let it shine, we're gonna say, we're gonna organize. And in the Spanish versions, vamos organizar. So, we're gonna kick it off with no unjust evictions and see how we do it. No unjust evictions. We're gonna organize. No unjust evictions. We're gonna organize. No unjust evictions. We're gonna organize. Organize, organize, organize. In El Norte de California. In El Norte de California. Vamos organizar. In El Norte de California, vamos organizar. 
en el norte de California. Vamos a organizar, 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 organizar. In the Central Valley? In the Central Valley, we're gonna organize. In the Central Valley, we're gonna organize. In the Central Valley, we're gonna organize. Organize, organize, organize. In the Sur de California. In the Sur de California, vamos a organizar. In the Sur de California, Vamos a organizar en el sur de California. Vamos a organizar, 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 organizar. Because home is sacred, because home is sacred. We're gonna organize, because home is sacred. We're gonna organize. Because home is sacred, we're gonna organize, 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 organize. Organizar, organizar, organizar. Organize, y'all. Our hearts and minds are clear. We are gonna close in prayer.